Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sarah. So, VidCon is this weekend. Yo girl's gonna be there. And I wanted to make a video that I've been wanting to make for quite a while on this channel. If you guys ever heard of Mad Libs, it's kind of like a story type deal where you add like nouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, things ending in L-Y. And I got this VidCon edition last year at VidCon and so I wanted to try it out. I've done Mad Libs before, but like I wanted to like do this on camera. So I used to do this thing where each Mad Lib was going to be themed. For this Mad Lib video, I wanted to try Broadway musical themes. For the whole story, all the words I'm going to be choosing are in relation to a specific musical. So for this edition, let's try Dear Evan Hansen. This one is called Paper Towns. Oh lord. Adjective. Um, what's an adjective? Uh, can I say depressed? Sure. Another adjective. Oh my gosh. I just want to say sad or something. That's really sad. Okay, I'll just write alone. Is that, a, is that a thing? Or lonely? Noun. Baseball glove. Last name. Hansen. Adjective. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Oh, I need two adjectives. <laughs> Pick them now. Okay, let's say big and small. And the house felt so big. And I felt so small. Is that how it goes? <sighs> noun. Another noun. Apple orchard. Occupation. Therapist. Verb ending in ing. Waving. Another noun. Oh my goodness. Um, arm cast. Place. School. Does it say specifically what school they go to? Verb. Past tense. Fell. Number. 16,239. Plural noun. Emails. Oh, there are emails. Okay, great. Verb ending in ing. Breaking. Oh goodness, this is gonna be kind of depressing. Okay, great. All right, let's read this, shall we? Here we go. Oh goodness. Hello. Here we go. Paper Towns. Have you read Paper Towns yet? Here's a depressed n summary of the lonely John Green novel. <laughs> Quentin has been fascinated by his next door baseball glove, Margot Roth Hansen, ever since they discovered a big body in a park when they were nine years old. Ew. Now that they're seniors in small school, they barely speak. But late one night, Margot knocks on Q's window and tells him to steal the keys to his parents' Chrysler apple orchard. She has an elaborate revenge plan and needs Q to be her getaway therapist. <laughs> hey, sometimes people need therapists. Getaway therapists. Q does it and ends up waving her all around town until the arm cast of the day. Oh. <laughs> the next morning, Margot's absent from school. Wow, that just works out too well, doesn't it? At first, Q isn't worried. Margot has fallen. Margot has fell before? I'm gonna change it to fallen. At first, Q isn't worried. Margot has fallen before, but has always come back. Oh dang girl, you better watch your step. But after 16,239 days pass with no word from her, Q starts to get nervous. Then he starts noticing clues and emails from Margot that seem to be for him. <laughs> Slowly, he begins breaking the mystery of Margot's life and discovers that there's more to her story than he ever realized. Okay, some of it actually kind of made sense, but some of it was just like... Wait! Well, that was fun. I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more, and leave a comment down below what musical we should do next. And if you'd like to, you can subscribe to this channel where you'll be seeing videos from me every Wednesday and Saturday, except for this weekend where you'll be seeing daily vlogs from me from VidCon. Here we go, just like last year. <laughs> and if you want to follow me on social media, you can do so by looking in the down bar below for all my links. Alright, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh my goodness. Okay, bye!